Defense headquarters have declared eight persons wanted in connection with the killing of 17 personnel of the Nigerian army in Okwama community of Ugeli South local government area of Delta State. Director of Defense Media Operations Major General Edward Buba made the declaration while addressing newsmen on the activities of troops in various theaters of operations in Abuja. He added that the military will, if need be, place bounties on each of the suspects to ensure they are fished out. Our correspondent has more details to that. On 14th March 2024, 17 military personnel were ambushed and killed by suspected residents of the Okwama community of Ugeli South local government area of Delta State. The Nigerian army revealed the old lums also cut out away weapons belonging to the slave personnel. Presently, efforts are being made by the military to apprehend the suspects as their photographs have been published. The Director of Defense Media Operation, Major General Edward Puba, however, issued a call to action to Nigerians, particularly residents of Delta and neighboring states, to cooperate in the capture of the suspected killers. He said the military will not relent until the perpetrators are brought to justice. We must never allow the incident that occurred in Delta State that led to the killing of 17 soldiers that were buried yesterday to ever happen again. The armed forces is a force for stability. That, that employs both kinetic and non-kinetic measures to achieve the desired end state. Now, prior to this ugly incident in Delta State, the military had constructed several and executed several projects in Delta State. And these projects were as a sign of goodwill geared towards winning the hearts and minds of these citizens of the state. And some of these projects, for instance, is the construction of the multi-purpose multi hall and borehole projects in Patani local government area, as well as medical outreach at a larger community in Udu local government area. All of this and several other projects were done by the military in Delta State. Hence, it was quite surprising that we will get paid back in such a manner. Nevertheless, troops will continue with their efforts until the culprits are found, arrested, tried, and brought to justice by Nigerian law. As for citizens, you must know that you are our first line of intelligence and therefore must rise to the occasion. We have a duty to flush out the culprits and we must rise to that occasion. Speaking on the order by a federal high court in Bruno State to release over 300 suspected terrorists arrested by the military, Major General Buba explained that the order was based on lack of evidence to persecute the suspects. Troops of Operation Hadin K recorded a significant occurrence during the week. And this was as a follow up to a court order of the federal high court in Meduguri. The court ordered that a total of 313 suspects in detention for terrorism-related offenses to be released to the Bruno State Government. The court ordered the release for want of evidence after the conclusion of investigation and other auxiliary matters. Now, these cases were prosecuted by the Department of Prosecution, Federal Ministry of Justice. And I wish to, I, I wish to add that it is not the first time this will happen. It is a routine where they come, they check the cases of those awaiting trial, and then where they find that there is insufficient evidence, 
they order that those people in detention be released. So accordingly, we will hand over the released persons to Bono State Government for further action. 